is joining us now. Leon Panetta, former Defense Secretary and CIA Director in the Obama administration, former White House Chief of Staff to President Clinton. Well, Mr. Secretary, thank you very much. What questions do you have about the delay in shooting it down, waiting until it came over land, and then saying, well, they couldn't do it there, so they waited until it was over water? Well, there, there's no questions that uh, there are important lessons to be learned from uh, what just happened. Uh, and uh, the fact that uh, they've now determined that these balloons, in fact, were collecting uh, sensitive information, had that capability, plus cameras and sensors. Uh, there's no question that they were trying to gather intelligence uh, and uh, impact, really, on our national security. Uh, so. For that reason, I think uh, the president made the right decision to shoot it down. Uh, I do think uh, the lesson we have learned is that this cannot happen again. We cannot allow a balloon to enter U.S. airspace that's a spy balloon. Uh, that simply is unacceptable. And I, I do hope uh, that, that they understand uh, the importance of making sure that uh, this type of balloon does not gather the kind of national security intelligence that would harm us. When should they have shot it down? I think uh, at the time that they uh, noticed that, in fact, it was headed towards uh, our U.S. airspace, uh, that that was, uh, that's the moment, frankly, uh, when it became a real threat uh, to uh, to our country in terms of uh, gathering intelligence. Um, I, I think that having had three or four of these instances evidently before uh, is of concern because uh, it's taken a while uh, for the United States to identify just exactly what these balloons were up to. Uh, and so I, I, I assume that uh, acting on uh, the way they had approached these issues in the past, they kind of hesitated uh, and uh, uh, decided to uh, to follow it uh, further. And uh, I think the, the decision should have been made uh, at that point to stop the balloon from coming into U.S. territory. But you think that they waited because they weren't quite sure whether it was a, a spy balloon or a weather balloon? Yeah, no, I, th I think uh, we've had three of these, uh, three or four of these balloons have evidently appeared in the past, uh, and uh, have, have some of them have been undetected. Uh, and uh, I, I think that uh, the Pentagon had the idea that this was uh, something similar. They were they were trying to determine just exactly what was up here. Uh, and sometimes, uh, you know, when when you hesitate, uh, you're then trapped because once that balloon entered uh, U.S. Uh, space. Uh, then the, the whole debris issue and uh, the possibility of, uh, you know, of, of perhaps uh, hurting either individuals or property became a reality. And uh, so it traversed the entire country. Uh, that, the end result is just unacceptable. We can't allow that to happen. Was it an intelligence failure that they've been undetected in the past until recently when they went back and looked at it? Yeah, I think... Uh, I think that's of concern. <laughs> uh, if uh, these balloons were out there, and we know that uh, they were obviously aimed at gathering intelligence, uh, not uh, these are not weather balloons. Uh, these are aimed at gathering intelligence. That uh, we have to identify that kind of threat early, uh, and then take action. Because uh, look. I, to have these balloons hover over a missile site and gather communications and signals uh, and check our radar and check our weapon systems is very sensitive national security information. Uh, we cannot allow that to happen. So, uh, I, I, as I said, I think hopefully there's a lesson to be learned here, and the lesson is we should never allow that to happen again, period. Uh, so you, you're, you voiced your criticism last Sunday, and as you know, the president uh, took your son, Jimmy Panetta, a congressman from California, uh, to task for that. Let me play what he said as he was leaving the chamber after the State of the Union. 
Good to see you, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> and tell Dad to take it easy on you, will you? Well, he got your message, by the way. Oh, did he? Yeah. Good. No, and I'll let him know to take it easy on you. So it was, you know, tell Leon to take it easy on me. And uh, your son said, yeah, he got the message. Uh, you got the <laughs> message. <laughs> you were not taking, you're not taking it easy on him today. <laughs> well, Just you know, right I think uh, I, I, want, I want the president uh, to be successful as president of the United States, uh, particularly when it comes to national security issues. And uh, I've known him for 40 years, and uh, he's known me during that time very closely. Uh, and uh, he knows that I usually say what I, uh, what I think, and uh, I've always done that. Uh, and in the end, the reason I say it is because, uh, like him, I want to protect our country. And so uh, hopefully we can, we can uh, share that kind of information and be able to work together to try to make sure that uh, our country is protected in the future. I think, I think he knows uh, the right thing to do, uh, and hopefully uh, the United States will be protected in the future. That's, that's my purpose, frankly, having seen a lot of our men and women uh, in uniform having to put their lives on the line in order to protect our country. I think it's really important that we do everything necessary to protect our national security. Uh, the Chinese defense minister is not accepting calls from Lloyd Austin, and today a, def a military uh, witness uh, testified at a, at a Senate subcommittee hearing that, uh, in fact, this presents a danger on issues like cyber and nuclear issues if military officials are not talking to each other and if, the, if China feels that they can cut off this military-to-military -military communication every time they get upset, as they did when the speaker, former speaker went to Taiwan. Yeah, I, I think that's uh, that's trouble. That's trouble. We're, we ha we have a very tense relationship right now with China, uh, and uh, both sides are taking steps uh, to try to improve uh, our positioning. I mean, the United States has uh, uh, has uh, moved to uh, have access to four bases in the Philippines. We've uh, increased our presence uh, in areas of the Pacific. Uh, and uh, and China obviously uh, just did this uh, balloon, but it's uh, taken other steps to uh, militarize the South China Sea and to build up their military. Uh, this is a tense relationship, uh, and I do hope that uh, the United States and China can find a way to have a dialogue uh, on these issues. I think it's important that we try to avoid a miscalculation. Every time something like a balloon appears, uh, it could result in a miscalculation. So it's important that uh, the United States and China at least develop a process uh, to try to work together on these kinds of issues to avoid uh, what could be an instance that could have us in war. So uh, I, I'm hoping that the United States can uh, open up those lines of communication. I'm hoping that Secretary of State Blinken uh, can get the opportunity to go there and visit with uh, President Xi. Uh, but the important thing is that we do that from a position of strength. Uh, and that means that China needs to know that we're not going to back off when it comes to our national security. Leon Panetta, as always, it's great to see you. Thank you very much for being with us today.